Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Bitter Shadow, back with yet another video. Um, my hair looks like shit right now, but it'll be fixed soon. Today, we'll be doing another creepy video. It is currently 12 p.m. right now, and I have my coffee. But, what we'll be talking about scary sleep paralysis stories. Now, I've done a video like this on my channel before. Um, but I don't remember if I did a part two or not, so I'm going to be starting over on this series, so, you know, like, subscribe, follow me and everything, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss out on any of my videos, and, uh, yeah, roll the intro. at creepy creepy stories about sleep paralysis now if you don't know what sleep paralysis is it is when you're like how do I put this it's not okay so it's a phenomenon that happens when you're falling asleep or just waking up what happens is you can't move you can't speak and on top of that you see these awful awful creatures some people see shadows like shadow people some people see demons um, I had a friend who told me that she woke up to her friends with, she had sleep paralysis while she was waking up, and her friends were standing right in front of her, their eyes bleeding a lot, and they were throwing spiders and scorpions at her. That's creepy as hell. And then when she woke up, she looked over and her friends were sleeping. So, yeah. But of course, uh, that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to be talking about these scary stories. So let's get on to the video before it takes too long. I am a 42 year, um, yeah, I'm 42 and my first, I had my first nightmare about a terrifying witch at the age of 16. Her, she kneels on my chest and stares into my face, slowly getting near and near. I'm completely terrified. She wears all, all, all black cloak and a hood. Her face is like a witch. Evil generates from her surroundings. She surrounds me with darkness. Okay, yeah. Alright. Other times, I can be lying on my stomach, and she I can feel her creep her hand up on my back of the head, down my face, and hook her fingers onto the top teeth and pull my head back. Other times, she will bite sit on my bed, knock on the door, call my name, and generally scare the crap out of me. Ooh, that was just something. Now, I've heard about this encounter before. Some people call it the Night Hag. A little backstory about the Night Hag. She is a paranormal entity that takes the form of a witch. Normally, she's seen um, during sleep paralysis a lot, and some people have seen her without sleep paralysis. But long story short, she sits on your chest and stares at you. Unlike the shadow people, she has a face. It's just terrifying. Now, this might be a dark witch because not I'm a witch myself and I'm not evil. But yeah, so uh, and ignore my pubic hair beard. Uh, I just haven't shaved in a while, and I know it's disgusting, but we'll get through it. Okay, so, my dad, my dad, uh, sorry about that, my dead cousin was in my bed. So, I'm in my early 20s, same, and I used to have mild hallucinations when walking up with the use of an arm while being unable to move. This was years ago, and it never really bothered me, but it happened this morning, which was kind of my fault. So I hung a jacket from the hood of the closet door. On the way in the front of me the night before, and when I woke up, I saw a woman standing there with the jacket on and her back turned. 
somehow. I assume someone knew I was laying in bed beside me. I don't know who. So I was saying, I was trying to yell to the person beside me. Then slowly the woman turns, sorry, turns so I can see her from the side. And it was my cousin who died last year. And she was just staring into the mirror on the door. At this point, I was losing my shit, but I can't seem to yell out. Then, all of a sudden, I regain movement and end up yelling. You see her, right? Right? What the fuck is happening? I turn, and there is just a blanket laying beside me. And when I look back, I easily make out just the jacket hanging on the closet door. I'm still freaked out. Well, um... There's, that's pretty understandable. I can understand that freaking you out, but uh, in most, in most cases of sleep paralysis, these, I personally believe these are supernatural beings. But, like I said, uh, it's understandable to be freaked out. But whatever you do, don't freak out because eventually it'll, it'll let up. I've only ever seen a couple. Uh, stories where you died from from these hallucinations or these entities, I should say. Anyone else see this guy during a sleep paralysis episode? I've been seeing him once, but only sensed him since. Happening during my first episode, tornado inside of my head, followed by nothing but color purple in my vision. What? When the purple subsided, there was, hey, there he was, coming up on the side of my bed. Because that was a short one. This one was the Grim Reaper. So, yeah. But, apparently she saw the Grim Reaper. That is not a good sign. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I mean, here's one. I had sex with my sleep demon. Well, I mean, good for you, I guess. I don't know if I can read this, but I'm going to try. Sleep paralysis started when I was seven, and it was scary. I remember the walls shaking and rattling in my ears, going through a tunnel. I continued to, it can, this continued into my teens, and sometimes I felt I was battling entire group of demons that I spoke strange languages. Then I explored lucid dreaming and followed my spirit guides until it became unpredictable and began bidding me and being evil in general. Then in my late 20s, I discovered I could have sex with the, the beings. Oh, God. I know you're thinking this is disgusting. I would move my head uh, hand to my private area and have orgasm by myself without ever touching myself. Strangely, in my head, this would immediately send me to sleep afterwards, and this had added effect of making paralysis enjoyable. What? Okay, let's be honest. Um, I'm not saying this is disgusting, but what? 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 What do you? So, are you like a prostitute for demons? Is that what it is? Is it like, I? Okay, I don't know if I can post this on YouTube, but yeah. Can you imagine, like, like what do you, you know those people, the, the census, they go to your house and they go, oh, you live here, okay. Are you, well, there are some people who are going to ask you if you're gay, straight, or bi. If this woman, it doesn't say she's only having sex with the demons, but if they're having sex with demons, what does that count as? Like, do you say gay? Do you say straight? Do you say what? Because I personally have no idea what this would be categorized as. Um, I have nothing against gays and lesbians. I have friends who are lesbians and gays, but that's not my point. My point is, what do you categorize this as? Because I have no idea. But we'll get on to the video. If y'all can let me know in the comments what y'all think, it would be very much appreciated. Okay, so apparently that was... Okay. So, I guess... Yeah. Alright, we're gonna read... Ah, there is no more. Well, that sucks. 
Yeah. Well, you guys, uh, there, that is going to be the end of my video. I am sorry that it wasn't the longest video I've ever done. Um, but if you like this video and you want to, and you could subscribe to the channel, I would very much appreciate that. Hit that notification bell so I don't miss out on my videos. And um, thank you to all my subscribers who've been here with me and helping my channel grow. I really appreciate it, and uh, I really want to say thank you to y'all. Um, but yeah, later.